Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Remul Sanity, and today I'm reviewing El Hijo on the Series X. This has been developed by Quantum Frog and Honig Studios and published by Handy Games. So what is El Hijo? El Hijo is a non-violent isometric stealth game set in the Wild West where the protagonist is a six-year-old child on the quest to find his mother. The premise is you play as the six-year-old El Hijo, who's been dropped off at a monastery to keep him safe after bandits burn their family home. However, headstrong El Hijo isn't going to stay under the supervision of the monks when his mother is in danger. So, as any six-year-old would do, he escapes and starts his quest to find her. The game boasts a 29 mission single player campaign where you solve puzzles and fundamentally stay hidden as much as possible in order to progress. There are also collectibles and a variety of tools in which to distract, clear, out and bemuse the enemies in your path. And this leads me on to the gameplay. Now stealth games come in a variety of different styles but often all follow one premise. Violence in some form is needed to progress. Here there is no such thing and focus has been on the playful and mischievous nature of a child to get ahead. The prologue of the game introduces the basic mechanics which are simple enough and as you progress more tools are given to expand the variety of ways to move forward. Your job on each level is to get to the end without being caught, and I say caught and not seen as there is an important difference. You can be seen, but if you hide quickly enough or escape to a hidden area, the enemies will often falter, forget, and move back to their original position. All enemies have vision cones which give a clear indication on what and where they are looking. To view this, you release a small white bird which expands and showcases off the enemies in the local area. This is particularly useful in planning your route or spotting collectibles in the form of children. Now that may sound weird, but hang on. These abandoned children all need to be inspired and count as the collectibles. In essence, you walk up to them and expand their worlds a little bit by teaching them to juggle or how to fold a paper aeroplane, or in some cases, play a prank. The last one is particularly useful as it often moves an enemy out of your path later on in the level. Once done, the depressed kids sparkle with joy and you are told they have been inspired. Tools soon come into play and really allow you to experiment on how you move forward, with some like wind-up toys allowing you to focus an enemy's focus themselves and in turn move them to a different area allowing you safe passage. Other tools like a catapult, fireworks and gas clouds all help in detaining or confusing your enemies allowing you to either reach safe passage or hide before you are caught. Now you may think you only play as El Hijo but the game switches often to your mother and her attempts at thwarting the bandits who burnt down their house and in some cases getting revenge. Here, the game isn't just about getting to the end unseen. There is often a side mission you need to accomplish in order to progress. Early on, the aim was to blow up their base using dynamite placed around the level. The levels themselves are big enough to be challenging, but small enough not to be too frustrating. And there are multiple ways to get to the end location, which you will need to identify in order to plan your route effectively. Now there will be obstacles in your way, in the form of crates or enemies in general, etc. Solution to these are often easy to spot, as in one instant I was playing as the mother and had to get past a guard to activate a switch. The only way this could be accomplished was releasing a cow that would wander back and forth from its pen to the feeding trough. You did this by shooting the lock off the pen's gate. Levels are also well designed with a number of unique hiding places to take advantage of, and checkpoints are also plentiful, 
So no matter if you fail and get spotted, you are never far from your original position. Control wise, I found the game to be pretty smooth, but I did find the button to activate the crouch or hiding behind something a bit clunky. It would often falter or take too long to recognize my press and thus lead me into getting spotted. It could be the activation box is a bit too small and thus you have to be pinpoint perfect before it will allow you to. Not a hard fix and maybe something the developer could look into. Overall the game is fun to play and the non-violent and more childish aspect plays well into a new stealth game. Yes, there are odd issues, but generally there is a, a nice simple game that doesn't tax you too much. The hardest part is you'll be trying to find all the children in the level and working out the best route to get to them. So what about the graphics? The game's visual style is its main wow factor and one that caught my eye from the beginning. The fixed isometric camera works well, with the only issue that is on some areas where there is tall buildings in the foreground, this can obscure your character in the background as there is no see-through aspect. The game's almost cartoonish style works incredibly well and is bright, crisp and colourful with each level showcasing that style off to its utmost perfection. The simple and blocky aesthetic for each level are perfectly toned to each specific location and despite being set in the wild west, showcase off some lovely areas to view. Dust, shadows and the general aesthetics shine here with an art style that isn't afraid to use colour as well as darkness to great effect. I saw no frame rate issues with the game and no pop-ins as far as I could tell though being an isometric stealth, I really wouldn't expect it to. The story itself is told through beautifully cut scenes which remind me of an early Saturday morning cartoons. Full of style whilst not neglecting a story that in turn can get a bit dark regarding child enslavement and abuse of the time. Once completed, I felt I did see a different side of the Wild West, and being from a child's view was definitely different. And now to the sound. The sound in this game is well executed with a blend of background orchestral tunes mixed in with an acoustic guitar solos to bring out the Wild West flavour. Specific attention has been paid to character sounds and environment sounds, with these being at the forefront in order to ensure you are always aware of the danger close by. Your bird is one such area, and it sings and tweets when allowed to fly and enlarge your viewing zone. There isn't any voice work in the game, and the story is cutscene orientated. Instead, the characters often make grunts, whistles and hummings to bring them to life. And in fairness, this does the job. For me, a good gaming headset worked really well on this and would be my general recommendation. And this leads me on to the rating of the game. Now, I rate games in order of avoid, on sale, great purchase and must own. My rating for El Hijo is a great purchase. This unique take on a Wild West stealth game from a child's perspective is fresh and fun. There are some bugs, but without a doubt this is a fun title to play, though with 30 odd levels, probably not all in one go. It definitely hits its target of being one of the more unique titles, and for that alone I would give it a try if you're into non-violent stealth games. The game is currently priced on Xbox at £16.74 or approximately $20 and depending on your skill and patience would give you about 4-6 to six hours worth of gameplay to potentially clear the story with at least another 2 plus hours in completing the achievements getting all the collectibles. The small development team have created something different and new, and whilst it's not perfect, this is a great introduction to the studios, and for one, I will be watching closely to see what future titles they can create. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. I do hope you like this review, and if you do, please like, share, and subscribe if you so wish. And if you would like to put some notes or even just a comment in the comment section, I do like reading them. Anyway, have a great time gaming, and I'll see you all again soon.